of our favorite chefs in the kitchen this morning. Chef Matthew Grunewald, once again in the kitchen, but not just cooking up a storm here. No. We're excited because he is yet again competing on another cooking show. This is called the Food Network Star Comeback Kitchen. Yeah. Is it what? I know, right? Congratulations. Thank you so much. This is I awesome. so appreciate it. Okay, so I want to talk about the show, but before we get to the show, what yes. did you just throw in this pan? Because it looks amazing. A little bit of salt. You know, grilled chicken is one of those things that is my favorite. I like it on sandwiches. I like it plain. I like it with a little, a little arugula salad, but it needs a marinade. So we're marinating oh. our grilled chicken, and that's really the key to getting a nice, juicy grilled chicken breast. A tender one. Yes. Not dry. 100%. Always been, uh, unfortunately, it's it's been one of my downfalls when it comes to chicken breast. I, I dry them out. Completely understand. Yeah. And that's because it doesn't have a lot of moisture in it. You know, chicken is really lean and a, a marinade is really going to add tons of flavor. All right, so tell me what was in this marinade. Very simple. What we're going to do, Terry, is take two tablespoons of parsley, which is going to add a nice fresh freshness, half a shallot sliced, a clove of garlic smashed, mm. a squeeze of lemon, extra virgin olive oil, and then the chicken is gonna go right into the bag. And this is gonna marinate anywhere for an hour over, up to overnight. That's what I was gonna ask you. I've also over marinated chicken before. Correct. So you can do this in advance and it's, and 100%. it's gonna be okay. 100% okay. and feel like, and don't feel Look like you this, need, Jason, isn't that gorgeous? Look at, Look at oh that. Oh my goodness. It's gorgeous all so right. So simple. And don't feel like you need a ton of time. You know, even if you only have 10 minutes, Throw the marinade on it anyway. It's because good enough. It's going to add so much flavor. Okay. All right. While that's cooking up, I want to talk about the show. Yes. All right. It um, is actually uh, premiering on the 21st yes. of May. So yes. tell me, tell me what's, what are we going to expect to see this time around? Well, it's it's kind of my comeback back. I just keep coming back. Uh, hosted by Tyler Florence, Valerie Bertinelli, myself, and six other Food Network star finalists that were eliminated are back competing for another shot at stardom. Oh my gosh. Okay. So is there a specific I, think, I mean, I see a food fight. We got we were running around. What, what happened? <laughs> a squash on the floor. I mean, what happens? What are, what are your challenges every week? So we have camera challenges, cooking challenges, and they're always throwing curveballs. You know, Tyler and Valerie really need us to be on our feet because when whoever gets to the Food Network star competition with Bobby and Giada, they need to be bringing it because whoever Tyler and Valerie choose, they really want them to win. Yeah, I'm sure they're feeling a little responsibility for you all. Exactly. Step along yeah, 100. Right? And their right. reputations are on the line. Too, sure. So they got to choose the best person. Absolutely, absolutely. And so um, I know what. So the twenty first. Do you know at what time? Uh, eight seven central. Okay, got on it. On the Food Network. Yes. Okay, great. All right. So we are um, cooking this up now. And how long? Because you these are really thin. So not not too long. You're gonna love this. And I'm so glad that you said you mentioned how thin they were. Yes. I butterfly the chicken into thirds. Third. Yes. Ooh, okay. So the nice fat. I usually do half, juicy, but you can do thirds. Yes. Gosh, and I wish you could show us how to do that. You just go ahead and take your. <laughs> yeah, you can actually have your butcher do it for you. You can request it from them if hey, you don't feel comfortable doing that. That's a great yeah, idea. It's such a great tip. You know what? They usually are really happy to do that. One hundred percent. Just yeah. like be really super nice to them, and they'll do it for you. Okay. Yeah. I'll try. <laughs> yeah. You know how hard that is for I'm, me. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that smile. You know, I, I have a hard time saying no. This is only going to take four to five minutes. On, on each side? Total. Wow. How simple is that? You know, the, the nice hot grill pan is going to cook it for about two, two and a half minutes on mm -hmm. each side. Then when it comes out of the pan, we're going to let it rest. I'll bring that to you. Thank you, my love. Yeah. Mm. Now, you notice we still have that other squeeze I was going to ask lemon. you something All that good goodness. is happening here. We oh, I love that you go. said it because it is, it is goodness can't in there. Can't let it go. Nope. We're going to scrape some of this off. And then that's gonna go right on top, and those brown bits are really what are so flavorful. That is beautiful. All right, so oh we're doing gracious. chicken three ways. Um, what 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 kind of chicken are you making next? Next, we are making a pan fried chicken, nice and crispy, crunchy, and it's mm. a healthier version. Yummy! Yummy! Yeah. I love it. All right, thank you very much, Matthew. Okay, you.